Oh my god! Another video from PG! That's what I would love to hear. But I know my videos are not that great. Ow. Welcome, Peegers, to another Minecraft video. Have you seen my video on how to find slime chunks? I think you would have, uh, like, a slight idea of how difficult it was for me to find slime chunks. Or to find, you know, the slime hoppy thingies. And in general, they, they are kind of difficult to find. Since that day, I wanted to make some kind of farm, but I didn't know if it was, like, actually possible to make one. But after a little bit of research, after a tiny little bit of research, I was able to find that it is possible. Oh, you, get, you, you guys just saw mobs falling. It's definitely possible to make a slime chunk farm so i gather up my materials and by the way say hello to porky i know it's not the most original name but this little fellow right here he literally just appeared in front of my house i know i shouldn't attack them because they're gonna become like really hostile hostile or hostile 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 i know i shouldn't attack him because i know they're hostile and based on what i read they, they can summon like a whole bunch of porkies just a quick update as you guys just saw, this magnificent spaceship, it looks like a mothership, it has been gathering a few materials. As you can see, I got a little bit there, but the one that's doing most of the gathering is the one on the bottom for some reason. If I need arrows or like strings or something, I can just come and snatch it out. Now I haven't named my horse, so I wanted to, to put a little name on him first. I don't know, let's choose something like maybe Benji, right? Oh yeah, Benji! We're gonna name our little horse Benji. Come here, Benji. Hey! Oh yeah, dude, that is so cool! Okay, come here, Benji. People can't quite see your name here. There you go! Oh, that's so cute! Come on, Benji. We got some work to do. This is where we're gonna make our slime farm. Oh, look at how pretty it looks. And just before recording this video, I couldn't really come up with any ideas to make this look, like, pretty or interesting. And I just- and I thought to myself, because it's- it's a gigantic hole, alright? It, it really took me a really long time to make this. Look at the size of this hole. It's- it's enormous. Right? It took me a really long time. I almost killed myself. It took me a really long time to make all of this. So it might as well be like a gigantic toilet. Like the toilet of Zooks or something. I just finished gathering the, the, the last materials that I needed. Now, based on what I read, you can't just like find a slime chunk anywhere. You have to dig everywhere until you finally find a place where slimes actually grow. So yes, I had to use the slime chunk finder. This is gonna take a while. For you guys, it's only gonna be like around 10 minutes. For me, I really don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'll try to make it fast. The tutorial that I used to follow this made this hole a lot deeper. So I might work on that, right? I might make it deeper because I, I didn't actually notice that, but I think this will work. This will work and it's not gonna take me as long as I thought it would. I know I promised to myself that I would never work with slabs anymore, but we gotta do what we gotta do. The guy also used like whole bricks. I'm, I'm just using, you know, just slabs. The guy, like I mentioned, he made it like a lot deeper. So it's like, um, as he said, overkill. I'm not making it that really deep. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's gonna work. Cause that, that's the other thing. I don't really even know if this is gonna work as usual. With the mob farm, I, I just didn't really realize it was gonna take me that long to make it. It took me like three hours to build it up. If you're new in the channel, or maybe if, if you don't know. <laughs> I only have like one hour every weekend to record. So that makes so that makes things kind of complicated sometimes. So the fact that it took me three hours to build the, the mob farm, since I'm not used to it, I, I ended up completely destroyed. And I just realized that this is now gonna take me a lot longer than what I thought. Because <laughs> I thought that, you know, you, you just gotta put these and you, you can just leave a tiny little space on the side, but nope, I need to fill all of this up and then I gotta make like three blocks all the way down. So it will take me a little while, but not like a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Oh, hi there, Peegers. I know, I know, it's been two long weeks. I'm sorry for taking so long in uploading this video. I wasn't satisfied with my creation. I wasn't satisfied with myself. I've been really busy, you see? I've been really busy. Mostly because I literally just got married. So go ahead and congratulate me in the comment section if you like. <laughs> I do have a surprise for all of you. I do. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of stupid, but I know you guys are gonna like it. And I'm pretty sure 
you have never seen anything like it. And this is not clickbait, all right? It is not clickbait. I, I really did something really cool. So let me just finish this up really quick. Ouch. And uh, I'll, I'll show y'all what I did. And the reason why I'm changing this to just the regular sand ones is for a really simple reason. It doesn't match, right? It doesn't match and it looks freaking horrible compared to what's on the outside. Besides, I don't even know if this farm is gonna work. I've been working on this for the, like I said, for the past week. And I haven't seen a single slime. <laughs> even if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really proud of it because of what I did on the outside. And if it doesn't work, I'll just make it into a house. It's worth it. It's totally gonna be worth it. As you can see, I already put these three or four holes where the golems have to be in. The golems are gonna make the slimes go to them. And you know, when the slimes go to the golems, they're gonna fall to their doom by stepping on the lava, on the lava blocks that I'm gonna have to put here. I think I got these wrong. I think what I need are power rails and not activator rails. I concentrated myself in getting a lot of iron, but to make the powered ones, you need gold. Now, I do have a lot of gold. I think I do. I'm not sure, but I do believe I have enough gold to make the rails that I need. Okay, yeah, dude, th this has to be enough. It has to be enough to make the rails that I need. Now, I don't want to spend all the gold that I have, right? So, I'm just going to make it like this because for every this, we get six. So, 49 is more than enough. I overdid it, but it's fine. I, I at least didn't use all of my gold. Now, I need to move without showing you guys what I did. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I can just edit it out, but come on. We can do it. Benji knows. Benji knows what I did. But Benji, you're not going to tell anyone, right? You're going to shut up. Okay, we're doing great. We're doing great. Oh my god. There are like a zillion skeletons over there. Put the bed. Put the bed. Okay, wait, let's just wait for them to burn to dust. What about the other ones? Dude, how are they not dead? How am I going to do this? I can't. Unless I attract him over to where I'm at. Hey, daddy O's. Dude, why are they not attacking me? And I think that one just fell in the hole. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Come here. Okay, he's burning. He's burning. No, don't get in the water. Don't get inside the water. Don't go inside the... This freaking... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him! He won't die. He won't die on his own bet. Damn, dude. How am I gonna do this? I can't. Don't shoot Benji. What's your problem? Don't touch Benji. Okay, there you go. He's dead. I'm gonna have to just edit all the parts where I kind of showed you guys what I did. All right, so we gotta start maybe over here. Like that until this point, I believe it is. We're gonna put this one here, this one here, this one here, and then power them on. I need to make another hole back here. Need to make a giant hole to fit all the stuff that we gotta put in. We gotta put this one, this one. We gotta put a hopper. We gotta put it right there. Is it connected? Yes, it's connected. It's connected. I gotta make sure that the cart comes back after putting it. So let me put the cart right now. Cart, go! Oh! Oh man, that is awesome! Is it gonna come back? Yes! It did come back. Beautifully executed. The detector goes right there. And I think we put this one there. And I also have to put one right there. There you go. Awesome. And here on top, we need to put the repeater. Repeater, repeater. Dude, so many damn materials. There you go, repeater. Now we need to put another one right there. Okay, okay. You guys saw that? It kind of flashed. Dude, it... it you might as well study to be a freaking architect. Holy crap. What else? Now we need to put a fence gate because that's going to stop the cart from, you know, keep keep on going. It's going to make it stop. It looks like it's done. Okay, we need to put also the lava blocks. Right, so let's make sure and see if it works or not. We put that there. And I need to put some items just to make sure that, you know, it's working. Let's just drop that over there and over there and over there. Just like that. All right, now go. Okay, so the card should grab all the items. It will come back. This is gonna close. The fence is gonna close, stopping the cart. And once it's done, 
Put it in the air. Hey, dude, that is freaking awesome. Okay, yeah, it works. That's pretty cool. Now we need to put the magma blocks. That's for when the slimes fall, they will, you know, of course, fall to their doom. That should be pretty much it. Yeah, there you go. It works like a beauty. Uh, without getting burned, I'm gonna actually remove these. I know it's supposed to be the entire thing, but I, I didn't actually plan an exit. Now, this part's gonna be pretty simple. Let's just put in the golems inside of their... Inside of their little cages. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this. And the golem goes right in here. This is gonna make them pop in, right? So you do like that. Hello, golem. Welcome to this land. I gotta push him a little bit. I gotta put these right there. That way, the guy's not gonna, like... He's gonna be totally squeezed out. So that's what you want. You wanna squeeze your golems. Hello, golem. Stay there. Be a good boy. Now, the more I think of it, I should have put the golems first, because what if I fall and I burn myself to death? Okay, okay, okay. It's starting to look... Starting to come along. Now I need to put this here before he tries to escape. I put all the golems in their little huts. I put the, the magma blocks. I put the, the, the cart. Everything should be perfect. Um, I don't think we're going to see any slime chunks. Because as you guys know, it's incredibly difficult to make them come up. Um, and again, I don't even know if this is going to work. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that it will. Oh! And I almost forgot. The best part. The moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on top of it, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I did, all right? I don't wanna show it to you from, like, far away. I, I wanna, like, go directly on top of it and show you guys what I did. So it did took me a lot of time, like I said before. Now I don't have enough ladders to go up. What am I gonna do? Okay, I think this is, like, that one point where no one will be able to notice what I actually did. Okay, I think that's perfect. I was thinking about ways of how to of how presenting this and I wanted to make another infomercial like I did in my previous video but no we're not gonna repeat that again we're, we're not doing that here right but if you guys know about someone really really big that might have like a really big need of 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 getting rid of their duties of relieving their stress relieving that social awkwardness that usually happens to people in public where you can't find a bathroom just imagine this you're walking in the desert, you just had yourself, I don't know, maybe a nice sandwich from Subway or McDonald's or any kind of fatty food. Then you decided to drink some coffee. And as you know, if, I mean, if you guys don't drink coffee and if you don't know this, coffee accelerates your metabolism. Which means that if I eat something and I start drinking coffee right away, I might have the need. <laughs> I might need to make some bowel movements to get rid of that pesky bothersome feeling in your tummy with my creation today i think all of our problems related to bowel movements are over especially if you're stuck in the middle of the desert you know because i clearly made this in the desert i present to you old subscribers new subscribers to this channel all the followers of this channel I present to you my giant my giant toilet I have made a monstrous gigantic with a tank big enough to fill enough water for you to poop over a million times I made a gigantic toilet look at it it's huge <laughs> I can't believe how much dedication I put into doing this and it was so hard making everything as symmetric as possible I know the day is not pretty. I know it's it's like super cloudy and it's like even raining in some parts But man look at my toilet. I made an enormous toilet, dude. I can't how can I go up Good, a little bit higher? Okay, there you go, dude What the hell I was pressing shift. Okay, that's shift and there you go That is my gigantic toilet damn man it, it i mean i feel really proud right i feel proud of what i've done look at this it's awesome man it is so detailed i mean not as detailed as i as i wanted it to be 
but I mean it doesn't get better than that here We got the part where you know you flush the toilet the water goes inside of the actual toilet We got the pump right there And we got that thing over there. I can't quite see it from all the way here, but you know what that is I think I could have made it bigger, but it's great. It's awesome. This is why I postponed the video for one more week. Because before I made like this stupid crappy, um, I don't even know how to call it, man. Like pyramid of something. It was freaking ugly. And I said, you know what? I might as well make a toilet. <laughs> And so I made a toilet. That's pretty much it for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I, I, I postpone a lot of, you know, the toilet or the revealing of my creation. And maybe some of you guys think it's stupid, but me personally, I would love a toilet this size, right? I mentioned all the things you can do in this damn toilet. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment. I love hearing about you guys. I, I really, really do. I'm trying to reply to every single comment because I believe it's, you know, somehow important for you guys not to feel like ignored. And again, I, I just really love hearing about you guys. I love every single time someone leaves a comment. I see it as like a bond moment between you guys and I. If you guys have any ideas of anything else I can probably build. I already did two farms, you know, the super mother ship over there and now i made a gigantic toilet this is like literally the biggest thing i've ever built so again i hope you guys have a fantastic day i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and i will be seeing you guys in the next time bloop, 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 bloop.